How about you YouTube? Back with Service Tech again. Today we have another unboxing video and that is going to be the Geek Fuel Box. Oh yeah. Uh, Alright, let's just jump right into it today. I have no idea what the theme is. I don't remember. Um, the only thing I can remember is that it seemed like all the boxes for this month, uh, Loot Crate, uh, the Geek Fuel, um, all, all the other ones that I was looking at, they all had something to do with Suicide Squad, so I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be something along those lines. Um, I just really don't remember. So, open it up. Ooh, stuff's already falling out. This is what you're going to see, as always, packaged nicely. Open it up, and the very first thing I see, right off the get-go, something Suicide Squad. So, yeah, kind of saw that coming. I'll look at that here in a minute, because I know it's going to have spoilers in it. And we have a travel pouch. Geek Fuel Travel Pouch, and I think this is Pokemon Go, that's what it looks like. Now, I do not play Pokemon Go whatsoever, uh, never could, never did get into the Pokemon or anything like that, um, I was more of a D&D D &D player than a Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh or all those other games. So, not really sure what we got going on here. This looks like some kind of pouch. Uh, looks like it's got pen holders and another little pouch right there. And then in here you get a big pouch with a flap and then a zipper part. And then whatever these cards are. Hold on. Not really sure what we got going on here. Oh, okay, so we got one that's got the Geek Fuel Robot, which I think is, I forget his name, I think it's just Fuel, but then you got the blue, the yellow, and the red. Like I said, I, I don't play this game, so I have no idea what any of these mean. I know they're all teams, but I don't. I really don't know anything about it, so, I don't know, I guess if somebody wants it, just let me know, we can try to figure something out, because I have no interest in that whatsoever, although I do know somebody that does play it, so maybe I'll see if they, they're interested in it, uh, let's see here, what else do we have, a Looney Tunes miniseries, it's a kid robot, I'm not really sure, Hmm. This is just, just like the little m minis. So we'll see what this is. Um, I didn't show you guys. It's what you could get. Got all of them right there. Love to get a Marvin Martian. A Taz would be awesome. Roadrunner would be cool. I don't know, Sylvester's not bad. He's got a, a Tweety's feather hanging out of his mouth. So that's kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see. Never seen these things before. So I'm not playing the guessing game. Because I'm terrible at guessing. And we got this dude. I forget his name. It's been a long time since I watched these. He's dressed up. Kind of reminds me of Colonel Sanders. So, 
that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, the sculpt looks pretty good, and paint job looks pretty good on them. Probably not something I would have gone out and bought myself, but, I mean, it is what it is. So, uh, next we got the Geek Fuel Pen, which is Fuel, a little robot. And didn't we get something like that somewhere last time? I guess not. I guess not. That's pretty cool though. I can dig it. I do like that little mascot. Um, it's pretty cute, so I can live with that. And we'll just add him to the board. There he is. Cool. So, next we got a big old Geek Fuel box kind of a retro style. I'm not really sure what's in there. Oh, that's a t-shirt. Okay, so hold on. We'll wait on that one. Next we have Dungeon Rift downloadable game magnet set. Magnets are pretty cool. I don't know nothing about this game. It's a Steam game, so as always I don't play Steam, so whoever wants that code there you go. Enjoy. But the magnets are pretty cool. Definitely like the uh, the helm and the sword. These are pretty thick too. Yeah. I'm trying to peek in there to see if there's more than one sheet, but I guess I'll just go ahead and tear into it. Oh, just the one sheet. But yeah, I mean, these are heavy duty. I mean, it's pretty thick, too, so it's not flimsy. So, cool. Right on. I'm always a fan of magnets and pens, so. Next, we have Suicide Squad Rebirth number one. Limited edition. I don't know if it's a variant or not. Oh, is that a certificate of authenticity on the back. Dynamic Forces Incorporated and Geek Fuel have issued this certificate of auth to authenticate uh, this copy of Suicide Squad Rebirth 1 Geek Fuel exclusive cover. Okay, so it is an exclusive cover. So, that's cool. They've got. Geek Fuel seals on it. I don't think the last one had a Geek Fuel seal on it. I did have the COA on it, in it, but I don't think it had seals. So that's cool. Always like comics. So yeah, that's pretty dope. And then. There's the card, which it just showed me the t-shirt, so we'll just go ahead and pull a t-shirt out. And... I'm definitely a fan. Definitely a fan. It is... Old school Transformers. Optimus Prime. It says Protect on it. Definitely awesome. I'm loving that. It's kind of like a light bluish gray shirt. Just feels like it's cotton. It is a Geek Fuel exclusive and it is a, a Transformers shirt. So that's cool. Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of that. Loving the old school. Uh, uh, animation that they have on that uh, grew up in the 80s and 90s so yeah I'm definitely down for that so just go through this real quick let's see what all we got in here just talking about different uh, the DC Universe Rebirth oh they've got a 
They got a shout out to uh to Nerd Therapy in there. All right. Subscribe to their channel. They're pretty awesome. I like them. That's cool. Congratulations, guys. Uh, game corner. Let's see if I know any of these Geek Fuel unboxers. And I don't. So here's some people. Check them out. I'm definitely gonna look up these guys. And then here's some information about the Dungeon Rift game. And then a whole bunch more unboxing pictures. So if anybody made it on there, congrats to you guys. And that's that little magazine. And then on to the card that was in it. Uh looks like everybody got the pen. Uh the Looney Tunes Kid Robot. Um looks like you could have got variants. Um yeah, looks like that was all the same. Uh looks like a limited edition variant for the comic black and white version was available and I think it says that's out of 3,000 so and then the t-shirt so yeah that was it that was it for the uh, the geek fuel this month um pretty good yeah I'm pretty good I'm, I'm pretty happy with that the only thing in there that I not really digging is the uh, the Pokemon like like I said that's because I'm not interested in Pokemon or Pokemon Go so um, it's not something I play or plan on playing and the the Looney Tunes um, thing was a little off um, again the figure is cool um, it's actually a really good sculpt and a good paint job so that's that works um, it's not something I would have picked up uh, maybe I'd pick it up for my kids but not something I'd pick up for myself Unless it was the Taz or the uh, Marvin the Martian, just because those are my two favorite characters. But, I mean, other than that, yeah, it was a decent box. So, that's it for now. As always, you guys take it easy and uh, stay geeky.